Wherever you are, we are here in Caorle, Italy. I'm Stefan Rapazzo with Hannah Pendlebury, EUCF 2022 kicking off the mixed action today. Reading versus Mosquitoes as Connor Hogan shoots straight away. They like the one pass offense. Ooh, outside angle bid and misses. Hannah, how's your morning been? It's What's been going a, on? It's been a flipping fantastic morning, Steph. We've on this field had two German derby showdowns, the underdogs coming out on top. And into this match, we see Mosquito, certainly the underdogs with a three for three losses. No, two for two record even. It's Reading with three wins and one loss in sudden death against Hutt, who have already advanced to the semi-final stages. This is still pool play, ladies and gentlemen, as we see a disc go awry for this young Austrian outfit. Of course, deciding who will in, end up in those two top spots in the pool and advance to the medal matches potentially. We got wild results. They'll be coming at you as this game progresses. For now, we're back in action with Codron picking up the disc, going early up the line. Hogan is there, stomps the Irish feet down in the corner end zone and puts the first point on the board. Redding up 1-0. Redding have looked strong thus far through the tournament. Uh, we had a sneak peek. That means you at home, I'm sure, did too, watching all the action. But their second time on the stream, we saw them uh, beat up on Pook earlier in the, in the week. And what else have they been up to, Hannah? have been sort of on cruise control really they had a 15 11 advance against Prague Devils which was a little bit of a not so great start I believe that was also live streamed if I recall correctly but uh, 14 8 over Lemmings their fellow UK team they got a little bit of intel from the uh, Lemmings side that at, the, at their first of course European Championship finals event so haven't managed to make it into the top spots but lovely to see them representing GB out here and as of course, that really tight loss against Hutt, which is their first game on Thursday. So we might as well see that rematch in the final. Never know. But um, it's all about the battle of the female matching players, I think, as this game develops. We know that Mosquitoes have a really young side. Four of their players have been playing for this team for 14 years, but they've had a big roster change this season. They have 14 under-20s from the Austrian team. Uh -huh. So... It's going to be a battle of youth versus age and experience, potentially. Let's see how that pans out right now. The youth a little bit trigger happy and give it straight back Ooh, to Marius Hutchinson, who had threw nothing but goals last game and then bobbled his first touch now. Let's see if he settles with the withers with the disc break throw. And that one straight in for goal out of Palmer's hands. She had a very quick look at the end zone, no hesitation. Redding, 2 nothing with a break there. Yeah, a lovely around break from the captain, Bex Palmer. Just nice quick disc movement. We know that Redding love a fast break when they get the disc on defense. And this is lovely stuff. Withers with a laser inside fleck. and an easy catch action man roll for Joe Brown. The, uh, and he's brought all of his family here to the fields in Kaole. And there are some uh, members of Reading, also part of their sort of family club that we need a little bit of a shout out to. We're missing two players, Ben Wilson and Holly Caldwell, who have unfortunately had to stay at home because they've contracted that nasty COVID-19 type stuff. Yuck. Um, well, surely they're watching Alti TV and happy uh, that we're here to cover their team. and. Uh, Surely appreciative of that shout out, Hannah. Many, many of our patrons are indeed members of the Reading Ultimate Club at large. And what a wonderful club they are. Absolutely, a proper club as well. Lots of different teams. They enter many of the UK sort of, you know, domestic tournaments with multiple outfits on display. Proper. And a bricked pull. Angeta is going to jog it back to the brick spot. One of two Angeta brothers. They are. Uh, in fact, we have both of them, the 87, 78, and also 90, Lenny Meister. Sort of three trio of handlers for the offensive Mosquitoes. Playing out of a horizontal, a lot of space there on the help D. Far sideline completion, this one shot deep, possibly for goal, can he get there? What a good bid! Goes down, two hands, splash to hit the floor is Hammerl. Well, we know that Hamill is one of the favoured targets in the deep space. Marcus, the number 65, 
going off and turning the jets on for that one. Full stretch. That's how you put yourself on the scoreboard. That's how you break the zero. The the goose egg is gone. They're fighting. They're swinging now. And that, uh, like I said, that's a nice way to do it. Nice two-hand layout. Catches super low to the ground. He he really did splash that chest hit first. And he's a large man. Oof. Beautiful execution. And as you say, a good response after taking that two nothing deficit initially but it's a young team from close to Neuburg it's from where close to Neuburg okay I, I heard it was close to Vienna <laughs> <laughs> as I'm told oh, it's both of those welcome to the Panda Dome <laughs> ladies and gentlemen <laughs> but uh, mosquitoes have a lot of respect for Reading and they've watched a lot of tapes so let's see if they can make the adjustments they're very excited to be here they're a, gr a wonderful club to talk to before this game they're very happy to uh dish out the info, info and tell us all about what they're up to as Lester moves it forward. Redding, Wilson, serving options, centering. Lewis working well in their red zone offense. Cuts are coming out cleanly and getting hit almost every time. A couple look offs, a high stall count here. Ooh, and a bobble drop. Mosquitoes will have a chance the other way. Yeah, an error for Lawrence Hill. The former Sussex Hawks player. Although they were back called Mohawks back when he was at University at Sussex. Mosquitoes underway under duress by Andy Lewis. That defense is tight. A lot of touching from Andy. To ooh, ooh, ee, ah. That one, uh, the wind got more of that than her grip. Yeah, that's a point we should probably mention. It's the moment, it's sort of a crosswind, diagonally, near side to far side as our cameras see it, and it is difficult to throw in. Take the deep is the encouragement from the sideline, but Lauren, Lawrence Hill gives a up line, same side, then shoots deep, late sighted by the receiver and too far in front. Two errors on this point for Lawrence Hill, and I only mention that because he's at a uniform. So a couple of turns in this point. With Reading coming out on offense to start. They've been very clean, almost ruthless as they've sort of you know cruised through the field here at Euros. Cruise the one glitch, the early match against the likely finalists, highly favored to be champions, Grut. And uh, I think Reading would love a second chance at that one. Mosquitoes, their second chance. Strong hands there by Bauer. But the up line too far in front. And that would have crossed the out-of-bounds line another 5 to 10 meters upfield, I imagine. Wind of the clock back, though. Did you see that slide from Jakob Kletke? As he uh, just like, tried to get it free in the handle space. It is like playing on a tarp covered in washing up liquid out there. <laughs> Slick as. Cadron. Ooh, I thought it was too far in front, but Wilson makes no problem of it. Lewis, far sideline. Centering. Roberts, continuation. Hill towards the end zone there, but not quite in. Coward. Ooh, too low and a drop in the same spot as their last turnover on this point. This one too low for Andy Lewis. Yeah, it's almost like she was angry at him. The speed that she threw directly at his calves. Catch this if you can. Ooh, cone kick <laughs> to put things into play. She's Mosquitoes. Maltrovsky aired it out, but to the wrong team. Reading back the other way. Lewis with the disc. He looks at the deep, wound it up, but chooses to center instead. Hill with the disc. Hill sees his centering option and takes it. Wilson, high grab by Codron. Codron engages. Ooh, that one you could tell early that it was gonna be behind. And though she could get her hand on it, she could not close the hand of the deep right away. It's a laser. It's low, what a pickup. Great play there. She got low, she got dirty in her dark jersey, so you can't notice, but surely she did for that. 
huge effort from Francis. End zone wow. offense, and we've got a discussion upfield way before all of that excitement. Down called on the layout. We could maybe get another look at that here. But from very, very far away down that the was, field. That was a very far away to get that down call. Let's have a look here. Ensuring if we could have another look, that would be all right. They're still discussing it. That looked, that, that was a tough one to really it's difficult. That's a we're, difficult, we're difficult. We're currently working on, you know, we don't have four cameras, unfortunately, just yet. Well, we'll more Patreons and we'll get there. Exactly. You know, if you, if you, if you want more, more, uh, there we go, there we go, from the pole. No, that's, uh, my opinion says that's up. It that's two look, hands on it. it does look that looks good. up. Uh, the, I think uh, the, both sides have agreed to it. I think it's uh, maybe coming back for some reason anyways. They've discussed it on the field. They come to their own resolutions. Despite our evidence, it was uh, a little bit late and they've made their discussion. And, oh no, she is keeping it. Everybody else is returning to their place. Because she was all alone in the deep space. But uh, yeah, nice work from the number 98 bar. Just rescuing that pass. And this would be a break to put us back on serve. That would be very exciting, I'd imagine, for these mosquitoes early days. Let's see if they can catch it in. Barr with the disc after the layout and the conversation. Reading a chance to gather their D. Not the matter so far. Edinger on the doorstep, having a look. Centering, gets it back to center. Kratky to Edinger. Edinger, they want that he keeps looking, faking those shots to goal. That one in for goal behind the receiver. Not enough and the opportunity squandered. So there appears to have been a call. I'm not sure that's going to impact that. Very adventurous one. Francisca Bauer again asked to be an absolute hero. I think she'd... Uh, she had a good go at catching it literally behind her back as she was sliding through to that front corner. She's not shy to sacrifice the body. That is something I admire in a player profile for sure. But it's also something you can do when you are but a wee junior. You know, you're like a bonsai kitten, if you remember that fake email that went around. You just bounce back. It made it rubber. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Andy Lewis shooting deep. Lester under it or just behind it. And that one's going to go to ground and Mosquitoes will have a long field to look at. Once again, multi-turnover point here. Yeah, just a little bit too much sauce on that one from Lewis. Usually on the other side of those. Mosquitoes underway, early turnover though. And Redding are going to have a two meter field to look at to cash in now. Surely, surely this one's going to be good. That makes it a little bit easier. No huck necessary. Ruth Codron picks up the disc. Had a fantastic world. Only one turnover, apparently. Ooh. Centers. Lewis. Break. Nice break. Or was it two there? I'm not sure who the intended receiver was, but not to matter. The goal counts. Redding cashes in, and they're up by a double, 3-1. Tell you what, though, Stefan, that was a dirty, dirty point. Very much so. The break by Andy Lewis was my favorite part of the finish. Look at the, the, these players getting in the mud. The field conditions this morning, you've seen one and we didn't uh, get to put a, a couple streams out. Uh, of course, we apologize, but uh, field conditions were not allowing for it. It was wet, soggy, sloppy, muddy. The sun has done its job drying things out. Uh, the action again is coming to you. So we're, we're happy to be back. We're happy you're with us. Uh, Lots happening, Hannah. We're, we're in the mixed division here. They're in a different kind of bracket. We'll talk about all that after a few words from our sponsors. 
right now. He's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a f <laughs> football. Huge layout block. Unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end zone. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed. We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. Help us call Electric, become a member. Back in action. Reading up 3 1 against the upstart Mosquito Club. Uh, what's been going on around here today, Hannah? Any, uh, any exciting reports from around the park? Well, there have been some spicy matches. We, as I said, had those two German matchups on this field. Uh, so we had uh, Ranala against Moon, which was a repeat. I think we moved them off the stream. And uh, Ranala ended up winning that one again. Uh, they probably would have been happy to be moved off the stream based on some of the stats we've been getting. Yeah, not so good under the lights of the camera. Not so good. Hopefully they sharpen up because their semi will be under the camera. Mosquitoes getting their offense moving. That guy was suspiciously open, but no call. Reisel. Well, it's wrestle like wrestle. Paul Wrestle, one of the best deep deceivers. Deceivers, receivers for mosquitoes, and that's a beautiful pass. Just, just a bit too big, though. Ubel couldn't get there. Wrestle, what a name! One of the deep. If, if, if he's a good deep receiver, he must be a good deep deceiver as well. It's part of the nature of uh, changing direction, losing your player. You must deceive before you can receive. So, I like where you're going there, Hannah. It's where my brain was going, not necessarily intentionally, <laughs> but. Uh, but it worked out perfectly. As always. Absolutely. And interestingly enough, Reading wanted uh, to focus in this game. As we see Bex Palmer there collecting the redemption pass. They're talking about having focus, controlling this game. But the tagline of Mosquitoes is fit. Focus, intensity and trust. Acronyming there. Well done. Uh, mosquitoes, focus and intensity to get that turn. Shot for goal. Oh, but no, it goes to ground just in front of the laying out hands of Mr. Russell. It was a nice shot, but uh, just a bit hasty at the moment. It feels a little bit like mosquitoes are getting pressured into uncomfortable choices and they're not really treasuring the disc. You know, they are very young, very athletic. They can move well on these slippy, slidey fields. They've proven that but at the moment. It's just a little bit too hasty, but that's a picked off well. They get it straight back, shot for goal. This one looks good. They get the big break. They are, sorry, that is a hold in the end, a long awaited multi-turn hold. They're back on the board, two, three. They're gonna need a break to get back into this one, but they're doing their job for the moment. And you can hear the celebration and the chance to try and get themselves generating that energy Christoph Angata coming through for the uh, for the score normally on the other side of the uh, the scores as one of the key handlers we spoke about earlier but they do like to try and generate that flow through the backfield with the young trio but downfield is Mosquitoes prefer more of an organic style, so you'll notice they don't really have like a set cutting pattern or a structure. It's just kind of like fluidity, moving, seeing what the defense is doing and reacting to it from the get-go. Read and react. We're just quick score check here on the other streamed field. It looks like deep space up on catch-up from Austria. Uh, and this is the interesting zero. thing with the 
current format for the mixed division, which is different from Open and Women's, they actually are playing out through pools. So Reading, if they don't win this match, may still see themselves go into the semi-final as long as they don't lose by more than seven. And Puck, who they demolished on the live stream, managed to best their opponents in their final match of pool stages. But an overshot from Hogan is going to miss Andy Lewis by about three meters. Yeah, that, that one uh, well beyond the potential of Andy Lewis. Mosquito's going to get that chance, the break to tie it up. They'll have a whole field in front of them and some Reading defense to contend with to get there. Haida. Looked off two cuts and then squeezes it into a gap for Stumvol. He gets the up line. Oh, and a great step in front D by Wilson. Redding got it back there on the move, going the other way. Andy Lewis with the disc. Slow things down, handler reset. You tend to see Sam Wilson playing more on the O-line, but that man is ruthless on the underneath speed. That's a shot for goal, and that is gobbled up by the defense. Stumvol step in front, and Stumvol again, he wound up for the big, but he didn't take it, directing traffic with his hand. Haida gets a nice gainer to Rausch. And another gainer, using the line, using the space well. Fake and return for Haida. Now return to center. That's the back around. Oh, Max, no second effort available. Great bid hand there. Should have had the squeeze. Yeah, a meteoric effort from Teresa Rausch trying to uh, lay that one. Highlight real stuff for sure, but just a bit too fiery still. And Hogan shoots deep straight away. Roberts there, but the, the disc not enough on it and knocked away by the defender in between. That is a fair few turnovers coming out of the paws of Connor Hogan. So maybe you need to just, just put, the, uh, put the gun back in the Hey, th they throw a dump, would you? <laughs> well, he's very, very good <laughs> at throwing creatively. At the moment, it just feels a little bit like Reading are trying a bit too hasty. Oh, uh, you know, shooters got to shoot. But yeah, but they had that in their last game yesterday. They, underneath the torrential weather that we had, that just absolutely poured down these fields and was what caused us to lose one of our live streams. They were just being too hasty, trying to go directly to the end zone. But that is a lovely shot. Too low, though. Doomval lasered it. Not enough air under it. Redding, Wilson to Lewis. Lewis looked to the deep, goes the hammer, all alone and on the spot. That one counts. Roberts, a nice conversion for Redding in the end after a string of turns. Well, these are turning into some quite long points for Redding. They're going to want to try and clean it up ahead of their semi final matchup. Of course, them coming out of the same pool as Hutz, they will avoid them. That's Those that's the nice, Those and they the didn't have to lose a game to avoid them. I, uh, that doesn't happen to them. Uh, so they are right where they want to be. If they, like we said, win this game or lose by less than seven, they have the, the right path to get to the finals without seeing good. Well, lose by less than seven and also rely on Puck winning their final game. Okay, well, let's just win. Look at that Lewis hammer. Beautiful step back, lean back hammer. Uh, that, that, that's a beautiful throw. That's an undefendable throw. If you got that in your arsenal, you're going to get away with some uh, defense breakers more often than not. Indeed, and Andy Lewis is one of the key members, not a founding member of Edding Ultimate, of course, but, uh, but speaking of founding members, Mark Bignall returning to the fields out here in Caorle. Only today he missed the first two days of action, but uh, he was busy coaching his junior side at Windsor Boys School. Good for him. Every Friday. Wonderful news. Happy to hear that. And he has some shout outs he'd like us to do. So actually three and of his players. He brought his uh, beautiful red beard. So shout outs to Marcus, Ben and Will if you're watching, which of course you are. Big ups, Marcus, Ben and Will. Give it up for your coach. Make sure you're liking and subscribing while you're at it. Here come the mosquitoes. 
Mosquitoes, in fact, no article there. Oh, good look, great look in front. Hammerl goes deep, but only one there was the defender, Bex Palmer, who had a look at it and realized there was no danger behind her. Yeah, that was a bit of a bizarre one, really. Not, I think, sort of, almost like Hamill was just expecting somebody to appear in the end zone, out of nowhere. That doesn't happen often. Not really. Be handy. Those matter transporter superpower kind of things. Just over, show up there now. Dom Knight. His, his first season playing with Reading this year, I believe. Coming across for the World Campaign. That is a big unit out there with the disc. Andrew Watt. Push pass, wobbler. Uh-oh, Hutchinson. Uh-oh, no, he's steep. Put it away. Not the third time. He's put it deep, but it, it goes to a contest. 93. Daniel Ryle can't get under it because of the contest, because of Mr. Wrestle there. Uh, in the end, not the right option for Hutchinson. He put it away twice the third time he decided to deliver, but in the end, that should have uh, looked center. Well, we know that Mosquitoes, one of their key game plans on defense is to frustrate the handlers into throwing late deep shots where they can put the poachers on and apply that pressure because Reading is so lethal when they can execute their deeps. Here come Mosquitoes. Angetta. Centers back, Meister, far sideline, wrestle. They've moved it up, chipped away to about midfield here. Get the gainer staying on the sideline. And we've got a call on the field. Yeah, I think some pick action in around the hand, the space as they try to grind themselves open, although didn't really look at all for any resets, just eyes down that far sideline. So they're squeaking it. Back in action, but uh, no completions to come of it. Yeah, just a complete loss of the feet. I Dom like the idea, trying to hit Jacob Salomon. But execution didn't uh, come out to play. Tom Knight winds up a backhand, sends it deep. Receiver is there. 41, Rebecca Palmer. Bex Palmer, as she's known, with another stat, another goal, and a great cut to get separation and encourage that throw coming out. Yeah, a nice throw from Mr. Knight, quite a young fella still. I think he was at uh, Heidelberg back in 2019 playing for the Open team for GB. Fresh pup, chucking bombs. Actually, might have been mixed to be fair. Either way, he was there. Heidelberg, unders. Here he is again, Tom Knight. Looking good under the illustrious cameras of Ulti TV. Reading, of course, having uh, not filled in that many surveys, relying on us Brits that commentate to uh, have the full knowledge, but sometimes we forget how old they are. Yeah, and good thing we just know what we're talking about around here, Hannah. Well, there are other things to chat about. So like, for example, fun facts about mosquitoes, they might not be the most decorated program in terms of medal placings at European Championships. However, However they have a fantastic record for winning spirit. And that counts for a lot. Well, it just shows the kind of, you know, even though they're a very young program, and sometimes younger players can get a bit hot-headed, a bit over-intense, they're actually fantastic. And they, their sort of way of achieving that, if you want to do the same in your own team or club structure, is to say it starts within the club itself. It's how you, sort of, you know, carry yourselves as a team with each other. Here come Mosquitoes wrestle, a little bit of uh, company there on the D. Yeah, Joe Brown trying to bait the poach block. Shot deep, receiver, nice bid. I did not think he was gonna get there. He, well, he ran past his teammate, took over, hit the ground heavy and picks up a goal. Uh, some people on the sideline seem to think that may have been down. 
Uh, but it was not called. We'll have another look here anyways. He got up and celebrated most certainly like there was no problem. But there is some interest. Oh, that is, that is up. Uh, it stayed, it did stay in his hands. Yeah. It was a matter of potentially bobbling out and re, uh, recalibrating, but that stayed in the hands for sure. That's a goal. They're on the board. Well, a big shot from Marcus Hamill. That was uh, quite, the, <laughs> quite the throw, but two targets streaming deep on the open side of the end zone. So not sure what happened to the defense there, but uh, well collected. Angeta with that goal. Go up and get her, for sure. Go up and get her. Or go, or go down and get her, to be fair, because there's layup. Pandemonium. <laughs> we do love a good pun on this stream. We do indeed. Connor Hogan loves a good one throw offense, but this time, ops to center to Andy Lewis, so we're talking maximum and minimum two. And we're going into big digits here. Three throws. Let's see what Redding does from here. Get the upliner. Coward collects off balance at top speed. Wilson has a look at Lewis. Lewis makes a nice upline cut. Upfield, rather, but then throws it away. They have a quick uh, bit of eye contact, wondering who was to blame. I think that one was Lewis, uh, just to missed the target. I don't think there's really any question about that one. It's, uh, it's a difficult one to execute. Andy Lewis gave himself a challenge and didn't quite meet it. Haida, ooh, 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 goes all the way across field. 89, Strumvol loses his footing and can't make any sort of an effort to try and save the errant throw. Yeah, a big poach off from Andy Lewis. He got, he was fortunate for that one. Lady Luck smiled a bit. Connor Hogan shoots up line. Andy Lewis there has a look to make sure nobody's coming. Cashes it in. Redding back on the board. It's a 6-3 game and Redding uh, just starting to flex a little bit right now. Yeah, that's more what we expect to see. Connor Hogan chucking it into the paws of Andy Lewis. And so, looking around, mixed division as we're, we're talking about. We're, we're talking mixed. It's in mix. We know that tournament's still going. It's not into bracket play, not in elimination. We've seen this morning we are into elimination. Quarterfinals happened. Some crazy results. Uh, we talked about Ranala. We saw Heidi's beat Wall City. That ends up being those two winners are facing off against each other as a semifinal, which I don't think many would have predicted at the start of this tournament. So. Either Heidi's or Ranala will feature in the final. But to focus on the mixed division, which is, of course, what this game is in, the uh, two teams at the top of the pools catch up, I believe it is, and Hut, of course, is it, no, is it leftovers? Leftovers, the yellow shirt. It is leftovers. There we go, not catch up, grass. It's the leftovers the and check Hutt, outfit. who are four to nothing in terms of their record, so four wins, zero losses. What's the word? Promoting themselves into the semi-final matchup. So this will be for playing out to see who will play leftovers in the semi-finals. Of course, everybody expecting Hood to be in the big show and come away with a very shiny medal. But whether it be gold or silver, at the moment, I think probably Reading would give them the best game. But at the moment, they're not quite hitting their stride. So we see another overthrow. They have seemed the next best. Groot is looking the best, but we all know that you don't uh, you don't win championships on paper. You win them on the grass here, and no matter how good you look, you got to be the best in those last 90 minutes. Uh, and those last 90 minutes are the 90 minutes everyone else is going to fight the hardest. So nothing is won till it's over. Reading looking the goods to get there and to fight them the hardest at the moment. Mosquitoes with the disc. Great continuation thus far for Mosquitoes. Roy goes to goal, wrestle, cashes it in. They're on the board, it's 4-6, down by two, and show a little bit of fight there. 
Well, that is much better scenes for Mosquitoes. A bit of a uh, interesting shot there from Roy, but it will come off well. Had the space on the soft side of the field to do it. But uh, as the players are going to take a brief break to recompose themselves with a timeout, we will do much the same and we'll be right back with the action of this first half after this. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. in action time out there 6-4 Reading over the upstart youth squad mosquitoes from near Vienna close, close to, to Neuburg close to Neuburg they've been literally just been charting it for you they're giving you a pronunciation guide and everything so. ah, they're making it easy and I'm still not picking it up okay it's not one of your main languages austrian german is not is it's quite difficult actually it trips me up sometimes oh that I'm is the normal german pronunciation but austrian german slightly different all those germanic languages are so far from my wheelhouse but uh <laughs> that's what we were speaking in just off camera because we've got uh Jaka warming up behind us getting the injury report from rasta Indeed. she said she's banged up but she's ready to go She'll be, she's been playing all weekend and there's nothing going to stop her from uh, putting everything on the field to give Yaka and, and Noisilus Sek another championship, a chance to defend. But here, oh, Connor Hogan saves the day. The garbage man taking out the trash there, picks up the pieces that fall behind. Roberts zips one up line. Wilson centers to Lewis. Pick call, double bicep flex all over the field. Yeah, getting a bit lucky there. Sam Wilson was it off by quite some distance with Stumvolt trailing behind. But yeah, there was a little tip off the uh, fingers of Ruth Cauldron that put the disc pretty much in the bread basket of Connor Hogan, who, as you say, redeemed that, collected the garbage. Wilson goes deep straight away. Lewis takes the under. Lester engages Lewis and puts it into a small spot there. Hogan wanted it, but Lewis thought otherwise of it. Lewis then backhand up line. Small space again for Roberts. They're using this sideline efficiently. Hogan goes the other side, and there's all the space to Lewis for the goal. Reading again on the board. Yeah, that is some nice play, keeping the disc moving particularly through the female matchup players for Reading. And some real good mix ultimate being played here. Indeed, he do. They're using the whole team there. They they really did jam it up the line for the, the bulk of the field for 40, 50 meters. And as soon as they centered and swung to the break side, it opened up so, so cleanly uh, for an easy looking goal in the end. Let's get another look at that big sky ball. You can see it just goes over the fingertips of Cauldron. Not the largest statured of the players for Reading. 
But uh, it was a nice grind actually to make this cup for this possession for Helen Roberts. She really had to just work it into the sideline. As the, uh, they were nice to flow across to Lewis for the score. So 7-4 now the score line, Stefan. This is pretty good stuff for Reading. Even though they're not playing their best, they're still doing exactly what they need to win this one out, potentially, if they can keep on top of Mosquitoes, who it feels like at the moment don't really have much of a look in. They are doing some lovely stuff, but it's just not putting all the pieces of the puzzle together at the same time. That's exactly it. They are, uh, they've got all the pieces. They're, they're there. They're just, can they put them down in the right order? Well, that they've, is they've got time. They're all very young, pretty much. You know, they've got 14 under 20s players, as we said earlier on in the game. So they've got time to develop as a team together. So maybe one to look out for the future. The youth program is the program. Schofbeck gives it back to Meister. Meister sends all the way across the field. Visionary look, took a little bit of time to get there and just a step out of bounds. Yeah, a really nice idea, but the wind is pushing the disc near side to far side, diagonally right to left. So that is one that you're going to sit it up and it's just going to travel with the loft you've put, but also that wind just pushing it, sneaking it out of bounds. But it was so close. Redding looking to convert on their opportunity as the big man uh, collects that possession. I think Walker Andrew probably Watt. could have had a little look around him a bit, had a bit more aware of where the rest of the players on the field were. <laughs> Just tumbles through the pile. Palmer. Oh, great bid, but the completion stands to Klima. The unders just keep coming. Joe Brown, oh, bid again, but another completion. Withers, that's the trend here. Palmer trips up after the catch, pops one up and over, but can't be held on to. Imi Wong saw it fall to the floor just in front. Yeah, an unfortunate one there. A nice sort of elevator loft pass from Palmer, but one goes for it with one hand. Would have been. Potentially better to see her, you know, go a little bit harder with the legs and go for the clap catch just to secure it. Although the way those drop, especially with the wind, it's quite tricky to get it with the one hand. Up line, cut comes, shot to middle, too far in front. The bit, <laughs> she's gonna bid anyway, so it's great to see, but the throw was uh, evidently too far right out of the hand. Well, I tell you what, talking about mosquitoes, there are loads of mosquitoes out in the field, especially <laughs> towards the latter stages of the days. And I think lots of people are suffering from having to scratch themselves. But at the moment, there's Anyone no sting you know? in this uh, offense for this Austrian side. But yes, Stefan, me. <laughs> and Palmer catches in the goal on the huck from Hutchison. Uh, that is a half-taking goal. Redding starting to flex. They have effectively doubled up. It's 8-4 at halftime. Thanks for being on Ulti TV. We're going to take a short break at half with the players, and we'll be right back with some second half action. Don't you go anywhere.
Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Second half action, Reading Mosquitoes, EUCF 2022 in Cowley, Ulti TV. I'm Stefan Rapazzo with Hannah Pendleberry under the sun today. Hannah, how's, uh, how's the weather changed from yesterday? Oh, I am so here for it, Stefan. It is starting to dry out these soggy old pitches that have been destroyed by the cleats and the hot cuts under the Caorle rain yesterday when it just soaked through. Anyone wearing a white jersey, basically, it just wasn't covering anything. It was showing exactly what was underneath it, whether that was a jazzy sports bra or a uh, hairy chest. And anything in between. And sometimes both. <laughs> Here come mosquitoes. Hammerl, a couple passes, get it up to half. Zone look by Redding. They've gone cross field, deep shot. It counts. Hubel, can she keep it going? Can the end zone offense engage? Gone for the deep, deep dump. Get away with that to Hammerl again. Give go. Hammerl takes another give go, this time out of Meisel. Hammerl with the disc. High stall count, zips it in. That one's for goal. Quick goal, not the cleanest goal, but a quick goal coming out of half. I don't know, compared to some of the offense we've seen out of Mosquitoes, that was relatively smooth and slick. Marcus Hamill with the goal, going pretty much every other pass towards the ends there, and Schoffbeck finally found for the goal. I, it's nice to see the wind has dropped a little bit. During that half, it sort of came off the boil a little bit. So that was a much easier kind of condition to try and break that zone in. We've seen them go for some risky shots over the top, which is of course, I think what this Reading zone is trying to bait them into. But that one was extremely well weighted and just like, you know, just coming out a little bit calmer into the second half. At the moment, it's not a case of just ignore the score line, zero, zero, game to one each point and just you got to build it through. And that was a good start to the second half for the Austrians who Look, mighty, mighty flustered towards the end of that first. Really just not playing their best, kind of trying to reel themselves off the energy. And it, to be fair, it sort of controlled the pace of the game a little bit. Maybe sort of gave Reading, gotta go. they got also high energy. They got also quite frustrated and flustered and didn't really take the time that they needed to. So a calm and collected start to the second half. Let's see if it's now going to be fiery energy coming out of Mosquitoes and if they can win the disc back off of a, uh, a not-so-perfect Reading ultimate offensive line. Common Collective works a charm on pull reception and putting the O-line on to start. Now they got to uh, show some fire here and if, if they're going to get in it, they need the breaks and they need the D-line to respond after the holds. Here's their chance. Andy Lewis and Connor Hogan, of course, will do everything to make that difficult, including a shot deep for Wilson. Hangs up, and what a great off-angle catch. Wilson drops straight back to Lewis after the huck reception. Centered, Wilson. 
Break throw around. It, it's wide and around, but it is caught in the hands of Hill and into goal for Hogan. Redding respond quite quickly on their own accord and two quick goals to start the second half. Yeah, that is much better stuff from Reading as well. We're talking about them being less than perfect. But, Stefan, I'm trying and struggling to think of a moment where Sam Wilson's made a mistake in this game. I am, I'm going through the memory banks now here too, and uh, I, I don't think I can come up with anything either, Hannah. He's having a perfect game. Oh, well, we might have jinxed him now. Sorry, Sam. But uh, if you can think of any moments where he's been less than perfect, please do let us know in the chat with, you know, maybe a timestamp. You can have at your leisure, scroll back, scroll forward. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, really impressive stuff. I love that grab out of the air off of a very high and very difficult to track pass. The sun is currently pretty much right above the fields here. If I try and crane my neck under our commentary pavilion. But, uh, yeah, lovely stuff from Reading. Nice and calm, not just trying to bang it in one, just taking the time to enjoy and execute, which of course this is now thinking about, you know, you've got a big old cushion, a four score lead, nine over five, but this is now you start to think, okay, let's play like we mean to play so we can continue that form into the semi-finals, if they can make it. If they can make it, nothing is uh, guaranteed, even after the way they've been playing. Deep shot from Mosquito straight away, but it is Redding that is closer to the disc in the end. Uh, that is Daniel Rye who closed out the cut, ensured it floated out the sideline, and Redding will go again as Rye gets it on the centering pass. Well, with a bit of uh, defensive chaperoning, if you will. Bignall winds up, sees Hutchinson, Hutchinson does bid to make sure that we all know that was a throwing error and not a receptive error. Uh, a little bit too much on it from Bignall. Yeah, maybe he's not quite settled himself into the games here. Arriving today, as we said, having coached, to have his coaching responsibilities, very important, is that every Friday? Always nice to see when players of this calibre give back to their local communities by, you know, sharing their wealth of knowledge and experience. And of course, that's one of the big things about Reading. They are really good. They do have some people that come across and join them that have to come to their trainings, obviously, and, you know, pay their dues to cement themselves in the club. But they have such a great reputation for actually developing other younger individuals through. And a couple of their star players are indeed homegrown, which not every team can say. No. A lot of uh, pickups, a lot of recruiting nowadays, let other teams develop and then steal their talent. That one bounces off a couple hands and in the collision, Redding gets credited for the D and we'll have a very short field to look at as Hutchinson picks up, throws right away. Ryle there goes up and gets. It is nine and that make that 10 to five. Redding moving well right now. Oh, that was just such a nice release from Marius Hutchison. I mean, it's always a tricky one because if you don't know, and you'd be forgiven for forgetting, Marius Hutchison, left-handed handler. And that is, it's like in many sports where you're, you know, it's such a key thing is your hand dominance. It just changes things up. Whenever I, when I'm playing defense and realize that the person I'm marking is a lefty, as soon as I make that connection, I'm like, aha, okay, this is what I need to do for my force to stop them. And it's just, you get at least maybe one or two free, three, two free breaks a game, I reckon, if you're a lefty. Just, it, just given. It's incredible how long it takes teams to figure out that there's a good lefty thrower on that side. Sometimes it's very evident when there's like these great lefties. We know that they're, they're, they inflict damage all the time with their left. John McNaughton. One of the first that comes to mind, the Australian uh, well, colony member, ellipsis member, he's done it all. But now you get these ambidextrous players, and that the first that comes to mind is Canton Roger. That man, you, it's in. What do you do when he can come out left or right? He can throw the around. He can throw the outside in with one hand, with the other hand. He can throw it for short throws. He can throw them for hucks. This stuff is now next level. 
But then also, it's a fun thing, because it then means the defense has to be next level. It's then, OK, so how do you approach setting the mark? Where do you put your hands? And in terms of the players that are fully ambidextrous, that you don't know which way they're going to turn, which way they're going to pivot, like what's going to happen, it really challenges you as a mark to be way more active, be on the balls of your feet, be up in the face, and actually just just hold the flipping force. Hold the force, uh, and that, in the end, is what it all comes down to. No matter what they're going to throw at you, your force does not need to modify and adjust too much. Really, hold the force. Don't bite on the pivots. Don't bite on the fakes. Easier said than done. But <laughs> that is the nature. Of course, these great throwers who can flip their grip, flip their hand, they can also make you bite with their jabs, with their fakes, with a bit of everything. And again, thinking about sort of that elite step up to the next level of defenses, that's when your sideline becomes so crucial. If they can communicate to you, where are the danger spaces on the field? What is happening behind your head? Where are the threats? And it's rather than just, you know, no around, no inside, like, you know, high hands, low hands, thinking about actually what space on the field, the weather conditions, it's all in there as we see a huge disc going up for mosquitoes. Bowered. Oh, what I bid to make sure. I don't think that was going to be caught one way or the other. But that insurance is wonderful to see. What a bid there for Redding. Yeah, Emma Kleeman doing what she does best and cleaning up in the end zone on defense. Cleaning it up. Big now. Looking for a big throw. And that is not the one he was looking for. That is a giveaway on the line. Wrestle doing some dancing to try and get open. Solomon, high stall count, dumps. Angetta moves to number 90. Meister back to Angetta. Christoph Angetta throws it to ground. And Big Now with another chance for that big throw. Bex Palma sends it deep. Ryle under and out waits the leaping defender. Wrestle had a swipe at it and missed. Ryle with a dad backhand to Big Now. Oh, and it's a huge it's save. Hannah, Palmer with the save in straight away to Klima. And Redding again, score with some calm O after a, a big and maybe lucky reception after the missed swipe on D. I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan of the way that uh, Coombs was being a little bit clothesline with the arm there. There was a lot of contact as, we, uh, as they raced downfield. I think that was Russell trying to best him. Bit of a, you know wrestling move more of a wwe look than anything else but coon's happy to take the contact but uh, and and ended up you know almost like he was pressing wrestle sort of towards that sideline and then just sneaking the clap catch afterwards as it went over both of them there's that bid oh goodness klima she just didn't even need it but you might you can't let your body not do it nice step in front d there by the Aaron throw from big now and then here's the little wrestle, the clothesline stop. It was before that highlight. It was more as they were coming up down the field. It was a kind of like a, the, the arm went out, which is sort of like fair, you know. Some people like to have a little touch just to know where their opponent is, but it was a bit uh, not to my liking. Kinesthetic defense, not necessarily allowed. Mosquito, here is the offense, Kratki. Edinger, big wide around and goes to ground in front of Hutchinson. Picks up straight away. Where is my deep shot, he says. There it is. Deep shot is there. He puts it. That one counts. Not for a goal, though. Roberts on the doorstep. Looks for the pop over. Doesn't like it and goes back. Joe Brown. Centered again, right in front. Immy Wong, backhand to the break side. That one in. Hutchinson lays his body out. Clap catch while going down. And they get on the board for 12. 
Well, Marius Hutchinson with a goal to his stats rather than just yet another assist. No, I absolutely loved that disc that he put up to Helen Roberts. You can't tell necessarily, although you might get a sense from the rustling of the plastic bags around our cameras. The wind just swirled and picked up just as Hutchison was about to release that disc. So the waiting he put on for Roberts to just clutch that one in the air was just really lovely. And just the way he releases it, not really stepping out and having to put much body into generating that speed and that flick, just really nice stuff. But I feel like I'm becoming a little bit of a fangirl of Maris Hutchison. I'm not sure how I feel about that, Stefan. But he is very good at Frizz. Very good at Frizz. Very consistent in what he does. The one aspect of Frizz that he excels in. He's got the excitement factor. Giving the people what they want. And let us know if you are watching this one. Maybe you are on your lunch break. Local time back home in the UK. For Reading fans, of course, pretty much bang on midday. So welcome, welcome. We're delighted to have you on these streams. Of course, if you want to support more coverage, more cameras, better replays, all of this in glossy high def, then make yourself, you get yourself onto patreon.com and become a patron supporter of these live streams. As we see another one go up and Nicole Lester easily collecting. Getting in front of Johanna Roy and now Palmer and Redding with their D line up, but Palmer shoots low, hits the ground, and goes through the legs of Bignall. Mosquitoes again. Maista. She shoots for goal. Weird angle on the throw, but uh, I, I, I thought her receiver had a chance. Nope. The Redding help came and take it away. Ryan Coons cleans it up as Palmer gets it back going the other way. Bignall. Back to center. Big shot comes. Pick arms are up. Just catch it anyways. Teammates are encouraging. You, you do have to, because if that was after the throw, then that is a turnover. Looks like it's going to go back into the hands of Daniel Ryle. but maybe not quite yet. They're deciding. Bignall down on the haunches, taking a little break. He's back up. And it's going to count as a turnover. You should have gone and chased yep. that down. Always got to catch the Frisbee on the pick. Always got to go and collect it. Otherwise, I mean, I don't think Don Knight will make that mistake again in a hurry, but there you go. These things happen. Angeta. Meister back to Angeta. Meister again. That's Christian Angeta who now moved it to the far sideline. His brother Christoph on the line with him. Shot deep. Defense is in front. But a contest nonetheless. Defense sucked her in. She ended up uh, without speed as it came down. Joanna Roy couldn't get there. Yeah, just another overshot for Mosquitoes. This one starting to run down the clock. Reading just need three more points to put this one to bed and see themselves sitting pretty into a semi-finals berth against leftovers but Ryle now on the sideline finding the big man Mark Bignall one of the founding members of Reading Ultimate as Bex Palmer the captain is going to go towards the end zone that is a lovely easy clap catch in stride for Palmer for the goal to shine now of the win Bex Palmer certainly making a case for herself to be uh, one of the most valuable players on this field in this game she is a uh, She's got a pedigree, she plays well. We know a lot about her and she is she is standing out. Her se ability to separate is incredible. And if you want to actually vote Bex Palmer as your MVP for the whole tournament here at the European Championships or somebody else, the European Federation have done a 
quite a funky thing this season. They have a uh, MVP voting system. So if you want to vote for your favourite player, you can get yourself onto the link to do that. We will try and put that in the comments of the chat for you to do so. Um, we as commentators will also have a bit of a say in that contest. But we will uh, nullify if you are just voting for friends. <laughs> the, your favorite player is good, but be be honest. Where based on the games you've watched or your your wealth of ultimate knowledge, pick who you really think was the most valuable. If you're going to take the effort to vote, make those votes count, make them real. Let's uh, honor those who deserve it because of their play. Well, and the MVP indeed vote. We talked about Sam Wilson being nigh on flawless in this game, but we have to also cred, yeah, definitely. Bex Palmer has been having a heckin' tournament and a heckin' season in general. Of course, captaining Reading to their eighth finish at World Clubs in Cincinnati. So if anyone oh! could do it, it could be them. That nearly gets redeemed. Joe Brown with a huge block. Smack back block. Withers. On the goal, in the red zone, back to Hutchison. Hutchison with that lefty IO. There's company coming, but it is on a dime to Joe Brown. Hutchinson, another assist to his credit. 13-5 for Reddick. Oh, that is 14-5. Well, our stats didn't quite update. But we are on game point number one. I'm not going to say Mosquitoes are out for the count completely. They are very young. But if Reading can continue on the form they've shown in the past three or four points, this is done so. I'm saying it. They're done. Out for the count. The, I don't think they're getting one more. To be fair, it would be... I mean, it would be a heckin', heckin' finish to this game. And it would run well over time if they managed to silence Reading for a full... 10 points on the bounce. 10 on the bounce. Uh, mirac miracles do happen. I think. But, th but this one, I'm, I would bet most parts of my anatomy on that it is not going to happen. I will, I will walk away with all of my body after this. Well, you know, pounds of flesh. We are very near Venice, but neither of us are merchants. However, <laughs> very, <laughs> very a, nice. We, I love it, Hannah. Yeah, like we said, it's a little, a little reference for, the, for those of us Willy who like to shake. read. Willie um, Shake. <laughs> but we know that, that uh, coming into this one, Mosquitoes have a lot of respect and a lot of time for Reading. Reading haven't played probably their best ultimate, but this is now the point for Mosquitoes to oh, showcase himself. Oh! Can yes, he can Big. get wreck Mark Big no. Big no with the Mac and then Max it right into the hands of the bobble catch for Angetta. And get it! Look at a deep throw. Here it comes. Angetta is there in front. I am silenced. They do score again. Five goals for Mosquito. Six make it. Make it six on a wonderful string of events. You know, Stefan, how I was saying that Mosquito rooms are really young. And it's like you've got nothing to lose, right? So I, I got very excited by that. I do love to see an incredible defensive effort and then an incredible response from the intended receiver to absolutely hero it. And just out of the blocks he goes, turns the Jets on and says, I've rinsed you once and I will rinse you again, good sir. You might be a world-class athlete with lots of experience, but I'm just going to go and do this anyway. And that was fantastic. But not this time. Nine more now then? Nah. <laughs> well, <laughs> at least they got the one in. This is officially the first game point for disc in hand, a, re a received pull. Uh, so the, the last one needed a turn to, to become a legitimate game point. This is now well, in no, the hands it, of, of Reading to win the game. It's still a game point because it's still, you know, even in tennis, if you're not on serve, it's still a game point if you could win it to win the game, right? So it's still a game point. However, I think we probably have to say Reading's D-line haven't been the cleanest on offense. So even if they had a shot, you know, it's 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 well worth getting a clean hold in for Mosquitoes just for a bit of pride, but let's see what they can do. Can they make something magical happen? Andy Lewis off to the races immediately. Roberts with the disc, dump set, centering backwards. Codron moved it forward. Hogan, Lewis in 
inching themselves into the red zone here. That one gets ahead again. Lester, mounting stall count, looks the break. Hogan there, steps in, quick dish, in for the goal. Reading celebrate, they've got 15 on the board. Another win, they're moving to the semifinals. Yeah, not quite as rapid paced as their absolute demolition of Puck earlier in the tournament on this very same field, but a nice one on the end. Got a bit grisly in the middle, some gristle to chew on and some things to think about ahead of their semi-finals against leftovers. But that will do it for us. We are thrilled to have you with us. As, as always, thanks for being with us. Don't go anywhere. So much action coming up. Two semi-finals in men's and women's next. Pick your poison, but you gotta take one of them. Thanks for being with Ulti TV. We'll see you next time. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread Ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. I'll be back to you. Thank you.